do you know there's this this show it's on netflix called lucifer and they literally have like an episode where they go to a furry convention and then you get to see (gasps) furries fight oh my god i think i've seen that one (laughs) <laughs> that same episode it's so weird i never thought i would see that on mainstream like tv i don't i, I guess it, i think it aired on actual tv but you know like american tv american television show and they were talking about like oh she stole my oc <gasps> that's why i murdered her or something i that isn't actually what happened but like they did say something about like oh yeah i was mad at her because she like stole my oc and i was like i can't believe i'm hearing about this on television <laughs> hey, at least they did their research. Love that. Yeah, I, I gotta give it to them there. <sighs> Hi everyone, and welcome back to Jose Junkies, an anime podcast where we talk about anything and everything. I'm Kane. And I'm Aiso. Okay, what's up today? So, 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 so. I watched the most recent episode of Chainsaw Man and I was like, oh god, I love Denji. And I love Aki, but I love Denji even more. Like, he's more of a character that I love. Just because he's so, like... Is it simple or is it innocent? I don't know what to call it. Like, he's been through so much, but he has such a bright outlook still. Like, I love his mentality. Where it was, like, his whole thing... Okay, remember we went back before, like, that previous episode and we were talking about how... He just wants to, like, grope a girl. And that's, like, such a dude (laughs) thing to want. And it's like, oh, that's kind of disgusting. But then he's very consensual about it, right? Like, respectful. But at the same time, he's very honest about it. Like, he's like, yeah, it's what I want. Like, what are you going to do? But it's not like he's forcing it on anyone. And he, like, will do all these things and go to such lengths to get what he wants. And he's like... And that's my dream, you know? And what's wrong with me having small dreams if they're my dreams? Like, what's wrong with that? Like, who's to judge me? And I'm like, that... Oh, I love it! It's so true for, like, real life, too. Like, who is anyone to judge you for having a small dream if it's your dream? Like, why do people care what you like and what you don't? It's your life. Simple, but for some, it's very... Because it's at the very bottom, every new experience. It's like a new baby, you know? Yeah. I mean stepped into the world and they're it's full of possibilities they don't even know you know the sky's the limit so it's kind of that mindset i think wait before that can we just talk about something that's different about us today like there's something a little bit different about us yo we we have we made it man we made it we're kind of we're kind of looking like people it's moving it's moving a little bit more so that's so cute. Anyways, yeah, so I, I get it now. Before, I thought it was just, like, the first layer of things where it was just he was just simple-minded. He's just a perverted, you know, main character boy. But I think you're right. It's a lot more um, that he's just innocent, kind of, into the world. Yeah. And he's very instinctual, like a child. It, it's, like, making me laugh, too, because, like, I love that they're starting to flesh out the characters even more, like... I remember so many people were super into Makima, and then now, I don't read the manga, but I'm not surprised because, like, even in the anime, you're starting to see really how manipulative she is, and how, like, I guess in real life, when you talk about manipulative people, it seems so obvious that they're manipulative, right? Like, oh, they're a bad person, they manipulate people, but in real life, it's not so black and white, where, like, a lot of people who are manipulative are so good at doing it, where it's like, you think of them as good people, And so many people like them that when they do these manipulative things, they kind of get brushed off. Like, other people won't think they're that way because they're, like, seeing through, like, rose-colored glasses or, like, whatever colored glasses they're seeing through. What was that? Like, that one quote from um, Bojack Horseman that when you're looking through rose-colored glasses, all the red flags just look like flags. (laughs) That's so true. Dude, stuck with me so long after I heard that line. But. I like that there. It's not so overtly like obvious too. It's just like the mood and the lighting with everything mix and like you know the eye angles and stuff mm. is the reason why you can tell as the audience, but not so much for the characters. Yeah, and, and they, they just face with her. They do like all the little details, just like to how they go about their day and like look at things. Dude, there was more things I noticed about it too, where I was like, they put. I think. The way Chainsaw Man is, like, made, 
they very much try to emulate film, which reminds me of like Kono Katachi, where they also did that, like、mm-hmm. specifically. So Kono Katachi did a thing where it's about、um, this girl who's like deaf and mute. And I thought it was really cool that they made the music like line up where it gets like lower and higher to kind of represent like how she hears, where not everything is clear and she hears things kind of in volume. Like sometimes it's quiet and sometimes it's loud,、um, how her ears go. But they also do this thing where they blur certain parts of the screen to kind of make it look like this anime was taken with like a film camera, you know, because of the focus and like focal points. So you get like this bokeh effect. And then. Um, Chainsaw Man does the same exact thing. And I didn't really notice it until I specifically remember watching when、um, Denji was drinking like, this drink from the vending machine when he was talking to Power. And like, you can see in his hand, the drink goes out of focus. And I was like, whoa, they were really paying attention to these like, really small details. Sorry. My favorite studio for a reason, right? Mappa does it like it's the little thing that matters. You know, we talked about earlier that the little dust particles、mm. it matters because it really sets the mood and it really sets like the entire feeling where you feel like you're actually there. Yeah. experience. Dude, like film is so amazing because it really does help set the mood for a lot of things. And I love how like anime is starting to take on more like real life aspects. Like, Even nowadays, a lot of film is done like digitally and not through,、um, like, through, through camera. Like, it's a thing when it's like, oh, this was filmed on whatever millimeter film. Because it's not so common nowadays. So, the、mm-hmm. fact that anime is taking this old medium of like, film and bringing it back to is just like, it brings so much more depth to it. And like, you can do so much more. Like, I watched this one、um, video where they talked about where to- Toy Story, I think Toy Story 4, the most recent one, was doing it too. I don't know if you. Did you watch Toy Story 4? What was that one? I think I get it all jumbled up after a while. It's the one where. with f- the fork. The Forky. fork? Forky. And he's、mm. like, I'm trash. And he keeps trying to throw himself into the trash. And Bo Peep turns into like this. Badass woman who's like living her own life, like no longer a Bo Peep with the long、oh、dress. Goodness, maybe I stopped at three then because that does not sound familiar. At I all. think three was the one with you going to college and everyone cried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> then we were all like, oh, we're going to college and like, oh, don't fuck me up like this. Another one after that. Yeah, there, there is.、Um, yeah, and this one, they have this one scene where, uh, Woody is talking to this other doll who's in like a thrift antique shop. And it's this old doll from like, I want to say like the 80s or something. Like one of those. It was like a girl doll with like curly hair and kind of like a baby. I think she was like a baby. But they did this scene where they have a. What's it called? It's like a. I forgot what the name. Bi- bifocal lens, I want to say it's called. And it's like. So the way film works, right? Is that if you've ever noticed when you take like. A shot with like a lens, right? You have like a lot of times you can get like a blurry background, and then like what's in focus is in front, right? So if you want something to be in focus in the background, you have to use like a bifocal lens because there's no way to get like something in focus in the front and in the back at the same time. It's just like not physically possible the way、um, light bends. So they have like a bifocal lens where you basically like put like two lenses. Two different types of lenses, I guess,、uh, of different like、uh, sh- sizes, I want to say. Is this how it does it? I could be wrong on this. But there's like two different lenses. You basically put them side by side, side by side, and you film at the same time. So you, you can get both characters in、um, focus at the same time. But where it's obvious that like one is in the background and one is in the foreground still. And it gives like a very, I don't know how to explain it, but it's a, it sets a very different mood, like almost like. Nostalgic melancholy, but yeah,、oh. it's just super film kind of buff. I was just like, that's so cool, and I love seeing that. And now that they're transferring like these kinds of film techniques, but like not through actual film, but like anime, you can see the kind of like moods they set through film, but like in anime, like it's it hasn't really done been done before, so I think it's been really cool to watch. Yeah, the transition, and then all of the 3D for the fights, too,、mm. done it really well, yeah, because like. I don't know about you, but like, I have not been a fan of 3D in the most part. But 
I've been a fan of how they've started to integrate 3D more. Like, the full-on 3D shows, I could never really get into, but, like, they've been integrating, like, the 3D animation, I feel like, into fight scenes better and better, so that's been nice to see. Attack on Titan has it, too, but I think the first one that I could get through and I thought was good was probably, like, Hoseki no Kuni. Oh, and yeah. And I think it was not bad, but at first, it took a while to get used to. But those two... I like good. yeah, I like Hoseki no Kuni, but it's still it's still something fell off about it. And then there was also like um I think one that was popular was Knights of Sidonia, but like that was one of the ones I couldn't get through because because of the three D. And I'm like, maybe I should go back and watch it, but the oh. Gantz movie was too much for me. Wait, yeah. Gantz Zero? <laughs> I Wait, love Gantz what? Zero. Really? Dude, that that animation is godly. It's like it's like Advent Children, but better like animation. Like they look Wait, human. Are we about the same thing because I remember there was one I watched that looked super derpy. Okay, maybe it's not because I guess Gantz. You're <laughs> okay. You watched Advent Children. Oh, right? oh, oh! Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean Gantz because I think Gantz was good. Um, I meant Berserk. Oh, okay. I, I have not watched yeah. Berserk, so I don't know. But I was like, Gantz Zero was like. Dude, that animation was godly. Like, they looked human. Like, real life. Like. Yeah, Gantz was good. I remember that one. Yeah. No, it was Berserk. <laughs> Berserk was derpy. <laughs> because it was weird. They were doing the weird in between 3D, but still 2D. So it kind of looked a little blocky. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. You know, yeah. I think they did that in, like, Demon Slayer, too. They had, like, the weird 3D to 2D thing. And, and one of them, I remember, was, like, in a really random scene. I think Tanjiro was just, like, walking, and they changed it. And it looked really, oh. like, awkward and unnatural. And no one talked about it. I was just, like, mad because I felt like I was the only one who noticed. I'm like, why am I the only one bothered by this? It can't just be me. Oh, my God. But I like Tanjiro. I think overall the, the series itself, I'm th- like, thinking through it. Yeah, no, Tan- Genji, right? I feel like the type of like characters I like is probably more like Tanjiro, very soft shonen boys. <laughs> I mean, I like Tanjiro, but I feel like he's he's almost too good where it's like I like him, but I feel like he's not deep enough of a character. Mm-hmm. And maybe he's on that path right now, like the series is changing him and showing him all these things and like molding him into a more like complicated character but like he's just so good which isn't a bad thing but i tend to like you, you know the just more... like the darkness and the <laughs> weirdos <laughs> they're not it. weird <laughs> no your taste is suspicious to me yo <laughs> I i'm think not I like him because i think i like him because he sets like good standards for what i think as humans we should strive towards yeah like being- compassionate and kind yeah. and understanding and hardworking, you know those things yeah yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I, I see what you mean but yeah. i think those are traits that i think people take for granted yo we can already sometimes. see this in like our types for like hair color like i always choose dark color and you always choose light <laughs> light here's what we think no well, you like denji denji has lighter hair than Tanjiro, okay Den- right? denji is an exception but in general like if we had to like put like draw or like look at characters we like i tend to like dark haired characters and you like light haired characters i guess that's true there are some times when i think it overlaps yeah sometimes but for the most part that's why in all the manhua right you like them dark hair yeah <laughs> don't at me don't at me <laughs> and for me i like either the blonde or white hair or even red hair yo but we all know it what happens to, be- to the white haired we went over this. Oh my goodness. Just chill out, all right? Just chill out for a second. Yo, they can chill out because they're they're no longer here. <gasps> <coughs> I wish I had a shock face because it looks like I'm happy, but I'm not. <laughs> Let's see. Where do we... What do we... We were talking about Tanjiro because he was like super, super good characters. What other characters? There's like... I mean, Deku's, like, also a good boy character. Like, he wants to do the best. He doesn't have it all. And he's, like... But th- that's the same kind of thing where I don't really like Deku as much because of that. Where it's, he definitely had to work hard. 
and he's uh-huh. good at what he has and he never has to stop working for it but i don't know not not deep enough for me i feel mm. and you like characters that have like a lot of death yeah i guess <laughs> like you like the tragic ones that's what yeah. you do <laughs> Okay, we have a middle ground. We both like Ash. Okay, yeah, I was about to say that. Kid. I was like tragic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me think. We both. Well, we both like. Do we? Do you like Aaron from Shinkeki? To be honest, he kind of annoys me now. Like, oh, really? I was like with him, but now he just kind of seems like a. I don't know. It's like too dark and bro- brody. Like, I don't know what he's thinking. I don't really. Maybe it's just because Shingeki no Kyojin in general is, like, has a very convoluted storyline that, like, maybe I don't even understand it enough to make a good judgment. <laughs> have Have you read the manga? No, I've only watched the anime. Ah, uh, okay. But even then... Um, let's see, I'm trying to think what other middle ground would we have for it. I mean... Mm-hmm. Would you like Itadori from Jujutsu Kaisen? Or- I like him! I like he's so, like, similar to like denji from chainsaw yeah 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 yeah. i like him kind of like gen shonen where no brain they're just dogs (laughs) they're constantly made dogs i guess that's a good way to describe them yo maybe i need a pet is this a sign is the world trying to tell me something (laughs) maybe maybe you should I'm trying to think about why, like, certain, um, what is it, shonen protag is, it, like, appeals more. Because I feel like, you know, like, some protags, you're like, I, I they have traits that I want. Uh, but then a lot of times, I just think of them as children. Like, they're my child. That's Hinata. I want to protect them. That's Hinata. Yeah. <laughs> that's literally Hinata. And that's Noya Senpai, too. But that's Hinata. Noya, I love Noya. <gasps> my rolling thunder boy. Mind. He's such a good boy. Dude. Actually, they're all good boys, though. Yeah. Uh, Haiku is one of those shows where it's like, it's really, really, really hard to actually hate a character because they do a good job at showing their backstory. Even if the, the Mia Mia twins, I don't really like them as much as the other ones, but even then, I like them. No, you still like, I, I don't think you can hate anyone in Haiku because they all have something going for them. Like, I don't know. None of them are like malicious. Like they they might be like shit shitty or shitters, but they're not malicious. Like you're trash king Oikawa. Like he's trash. I, Oikawa, he's so shitty though. But he's not <laughs> malicious, so yeah. can't hate him. But he works oh, hard. Oh no, I'm blushing. Oh no. Hard. <laughs> Why are you blushing? <laughs> Suspicious. I may or may not like a trash king, but he's not my fave. <laughs> Who is your favorite IQ? Me? No, my fave is Noya. Not even Hanata. It's Noya. I like Noya too. My short king. Oh, manly. My short king. Dude, my favorite was when they, they do the thing. He gets out of the bath and his little, like, um, blonde piece just, like, goes down. Oh! <gasps> He's so cute. It's like, you know, when, like, a vicious little, you know, dog is wet. It's just like. Oh! <laughs> He's not even vicious, though. Dude, like at this point, I feel like all of your type just as long as they have dog like qualities, you're going to like them. Oh god, you might be right. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, okay, honestly though, for like I'm not a big merch person, but especially mm-hmm. like I'm not a huge figure person because like I've especially been trying to cut down on like hoarding because especially when you move and stuff, it's really annoying to have to move more and more stuff. So I was like, okay. Bro, that's hard. Yeah, well, I tried it. That's why I'm like, okay, I'm not huge on anime merch, and it's also, like, a financial drain, so I'm kind of like, there are very few things I want, but one of the things I remember I wanted so bad, and I got it, my friend gifted it to me, I'm very thankful, was when, especially this, I don't even really like Nendroids, but it was the Noya Nendroid, and <gasps> what really got me is that you can change his hair, and you can get the, the wet hair where it is down to, and his smile, and everything, it's like, if there's one. It's so great. I love it. I, I can't even put into words. <laughs> That's so nice. Oh, he's so cute. Nendroids, I feel like it's worth it because it's like not crazy expensive. And there's so many parts that you can put and like to justify getting it. And it's something that you can have just like a, at least a piece of your favorite character. Honestly, I have so many figures. A lot of them is just like 
hot anime beads, but now yeah. that they because before they didn't really have many husbandos mm. figures and now they do do you know how many there are out there it's wild i don't know how there's many. so many not safe for work ones let me tell you Ooh. oh my goodness wait no you sent me some <laughs> i didn't even think they were real i was like are they allowed to sell this this is like they don't even do this for girl figures it's no they do what do you mean do they i thought they like yeah. still like censor it where it's like no, if you take no, off no, the no, stuff, no, it's dude. like not showing. Okay, maybe I have no, not. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. You're like obviously they're way ahead of that stuff. They're super crazy um, figures out there, anime figures out there. But no, now they find that I'm telling you, there's they think there's a market. So there's tons of like male figures out there. But yeah, I sent it to you because I was confused and I need to share in my suffering because I was like, what am I looking? Are at? you suffering though? <laughs> <laughs> is this suffering like weird sometimes see your favorite character and those you didn't answer the question Kane. you didn't answer the question <laughs> wait what did what was the question is it suffering Sorry. anyways moving on <laughs> oh my god <laughs> moving on anyway <laughs> man we have all these characters but then it's just like okay so i i like i like dog like characters you also like kind of dog like characters i don't know what would you consider like ed from fma what what kind of character would you consider him i don't know i let me think he's like tsundere but he's not like he's very tsundere but he's like very rational yeah at times which is which is not as commonly I think back then for anime characters a lot of them were just like based on feelings and you know this my feelings will make me work through it and like you know like it's all inspiration and passion that gets them through things mm. or the power of friendship well for him it's like the power of family like his brother right yeah. like I mean I guess it's like yeah. guilt also fuels him yeah I don't know Something. He's, like, one I hadn't really thought about because he doesn't really fit, like, any of these, like, archetypes. Because you like Ed, but you, I don't know what about him makes him likable. I think it's, like, he is still very understanding and compassionate, but still, like, goes through with some of the actions, you know? Mm. Understands the corrupt system, mm. but knows that he has to work from within. Mm. To change it rather than like fight from the outside as much. Mm. It seems like. And like, would, would, wait, would you say Lelouch from Code Geass is considered. Well, he's protag, but like, is he a shonen protag? I don't is know that if that's shonen. Okay, I know Clamp does the art for it and they're shoujo art, but I, I would just call it like mecha. I don't know if it's shonen. Well, because they're still in high school. Yeah, they're in high school and they're like fighting. Like the brain they're makes like sense. Yeah, and they're like warring. I guess it could be shonen. I I would consider it shonen, just with like very shoujo art style. Is it shoujo art style or is it just the ending scene? Because no, I don't think- the art style is definitely shoujo. Clamp did it. What kind of shonen art would have fingers like that? fingers what do you mean dude that's like a thing for for um kogias it's like how the long fingers and like you bend them and like no one can do that every time cosplayers try to do it they're just like how do you bend your fingers like that it's like not physically possible <laughs> okay like, that spider fingers oh, okay i thought it was more of like the hairstyle and, and i mean like, the hairstyle i mean everything about it is shoujo clamped it and then, like, the leg proportions, too, that's definitely a girl thing. Oh, really? Yeah, like, they're, that's, like, model, like, girls, like, very, very skinny legs, like, very, like, fashionable, you know. I'm trying to imagine everything now. Yeah. It's very, like, just think of Tsubasa Chronicle. It's, like, you can see it. I see the clamp influence. To me, in my mind, I still think of it as shonen because when I think of shoujo, I think of like fluttery eyelashes and soft vibes and like, you like know, the art style. Yeah, 
I mean, they have their parts where they do it when they get more comedic, but I would consider the art style still very shoujo looking. Like, I feel like shonens don't really... I don't know, like, the long leg thing is to me is very shoujo because I feel like guys don't really think about, like, proportions like that. That's a very, like... Like, having long legs is looked upon greatly and having, and like, runway modeling, for instance. You want, like, a short to- torso and, like, long legs and it looks very, like, good. And that kind of aesthetic is something that, like, I feel the female eye is drawn towards. And I don't know if guys really notice if they are attracted to it. bleach? Because they're all really long, too. I don't think they're that long in bleach. Maybe, like... Mm, I don't think it's... They're, like, longer, but I don't think they're, like, as skinny. It's, like, not as... I, I don't think fashion, the first thing when I look at bleach, it does have fashion... But that's not the first thing I think of when I look at bleach. Strange. And then bleach still has like like their eyes aren't like big and like you know, cute looking. Like they've just even Ichigo's eyes they're very like cut. Everyone Uh, has like different eyes. What you mean by the eyes? Yeah. But FMA has really big eyes too. It does, but it has a variance, and I feel like. I could be wrong, but I don't... I think, like, Kogius, most of the characters don't really have much variance. They all kind of have, like, the same style of that. <laughs> but that I don't know. Sharpness. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. To me, it feels shoujo style, like... But that could just be because I'm so used to Clamp... Since it is Clamp doing it, and, like, every other thing Clamp has done has been shoujo, so... Sure. Hmm. Yeah. The Lelouchin, it's himself. Yeah. I don't know what character... What, like type i would put him in i feel like with the thought and like everything involved it definitely gives me more like fma feels that leans a little bit more seinen than shonen shonen i wouldn't you know? call it seinen though because i feel like seinen's much darker i mean they do have very dark themes it does compared to the other but like i'd say it, i'd say it's like comparable to like Gundam where it's like Gundam has like because anything to do with Mecha and like war you're gonna have some kind of dark stuff but Mm -hmm. I feel like they still approach it in a way that it wasn't so you know like I don't want to say heart wrenching because it was heart wrenching but like (laughs) I don't know like I think like of a lot more blood I guess when I think of Seinen than compared to (laughs) the way uh Kogius did it uh wait then isn't Attack on Titan or like Tokyo Ghoul would be seinen ish. I feel like they kind of are. Wait, no, Chainsaw Man is bloody. Can we just talk about that for a second? Dude. It's like so much more bloody. They than literally have a movie. blood demon. Yeah, yeah. They literally I made it, it about that. I know, but it was just like way more blood than I have seen on TV for a while. So I was like shocked. I wasn't prepared. I mean, I like it because I'm like, oh, it's more interesting and like you know, other than weirdly colored or you know just turn black or something the screen is black i like it it adds a lot more it's like one piece you know when one piece had the four kids dub and then they like mm-hmm. had to censor everything <laughs> like no cigarettes just lollipops and what was it for there's no blood uh, no boobs yeah no cleavage. what did they do for buggy i feel like they did something when he like split his body too i forget oh i don't know it was really oh really bad censoring I was shocked that they censored Yu-Gi-Oh cards back then, or Yu-Gi-Oh itself. Did they? I didn't even know. Yeah. I had some cards, uh, and then I saw the Japanese version. I was like, oh, Scandi. <laughs> How come I didn't get the Scandi version? Mm, like the Harpy Sisters? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm, no. <laughs> no, nah, dude. I, I didn't even know about that. But man, One, one Piece, One Piece... I was just watching One Piece and I'm so excited. I can't wait to see the movie. I just saw like the episodes because I'm catching up again with Otto and I was just like, man, Luffy is such a... I mean, because they're in the Wano arc, so I was watching some of the Wano and then it goes into the Otto episodes and I'm about to get back into the Wano arc, but like, Luffy is such a bro... Like, even the Otto episodes reminded me, like, everything about One Piece is just a masterpiece. Like, Oda is a god. <laughs> Like, I cry every time I watch One Piece. Like, everyone is so well thought out. And just, there's so many stories. And the world building is so great. And there's so much going on. And, like, you don't even know where it ends. And you, like, don't want it to end. Like, 
they basically made Otto. Otto is supposed to be like Shanks' daughter, and like they meet when Luffy is a kid. Is Otto? I thought it was Uta. Oh, Uta, Uta. Sorry, Otto is the singer. Oh, sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry, sorry. I was like, oh, I thought it was Uta. Yeah, Uta, Uta, Uta Hime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, because Otto is the one who sings for her, and I think voices her too. But um, Uta is like they meet. This is completely deep, like way deeper than her. Hmm? Maybe I don't know. It's her voice sound way deeper in singing. She her she is really really good with her voice. Like she has a very versatile voice, so I wouldn't be surprised. I see. But I'm. I just think like when you. It kind of reminds me of. Did you ever watch Full Moon? Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. It oh, reminds first. me of that where like the singer was different from the voice actor. When I she think? hits Eternal Snow, and you're <laughs> like, "What is this Hannah Montana shit?" No, Full Moon was before Hannah Montana. <laughs> Full Moon was the it OG was, Hannah Montana. Dude, I, so funny. Dude, do you know that I used to like hate listening to Japanese songs? Like I could not stand it. <gasps> really? Yeah, like I don't know why, but like every time, because that's when YouTube first came out, right? Like I, I did not like something about every time I heard a Japanese song, I would just skip to like something else on YouTube because I just didn't like it. And then it wasn't until I watched Full Moon and heard Eternal Snow. <laughs> And then Wait, after what that, what songs were you listening to before that? Like American music? No, no, I mean like what Japanese songs? It was were just you like whatever. Came, it was just like whatever came up. I found on YouTube because that was when they had like, all the AMVs and stuff, and people would like sent music. Oh. I didn't even know what it was because like that was when I first started getting into anime. Like uh-huh. when I knew what anime was, right? Like, be- like before, it's like we watched Pokemon, but then that's around when I started watching like series and knowing they had like actual episodes and that you could like watch a whole series and it had a story oh was it during the time where they still had um english opening for a lot of the animes um it was... could be because i remember sailor moon obviously had yeah sailor moon song. car captor did which is like still really yeah. iconic um yeah a lot of them had like different openings so i wonder if that's why hearing the japanese version of the openings or endings it wasn't, like, Japanese versions of those that I was listening to. It was, like, they were, like, other songs. But they might have been from other animes. But I definitely heard those animes with English openings from what I remembered when I did hear them yeah. on TV. Like, Sailor Moon, I definitely think of, like, the the Ameri- the English opening. And then... Yeah, and Yu-Gi-Oh, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to... I think anime, like, what is it, song that I like that I was like, oh, it's better... It wasn't Japanese. It was probably like the ending for K- Kenshin mm. or only Kenshin. I mean, that was the first anime I watched. But then I was like, it wasn't like it being in Japanese. It was just like any Japanese song. Like the language um, itself, like was not pleasant to my ear. I guess. Uh, maybe back then. Yeah, I don't know why. I can't explain it myself. But like after Full Moon, like now you're that was obsessed. like the, yeah, that was like the gateway, and I was like, oh, this stuff isn't oh, too bad. Yeah. And then like. Floodgates open, and I was, like, listening to all this Japanese music, and look where I am now. I'm a fucking anime girl. <laughs> For me, it's Roni Kenshin and Inuyasha tra- soundtrack. Dude, those are still that was classics. So good. Dude, did you, so good. Did you know that the Pokemon opening song is completely different in Japanese? What? Yeah. I was, like, talking to some friends who are Japanese, and I was like, oh, yeah, dude, like, everyone in America knows the Pokemon opening song. Like, we all sing it, and it's, like, always, like, a blast, you know, because everyone gets all hyped up. Like, you want to mm-hmm. be the very best. Like, shit, right? Yeah. But then the Japanese one is, like, not even the same mood. It's just super happy. But everyone in Japan knows it. Like, it's famous in the same way that's famous here. So it's really wild, because, like, I was showing them, they're like, this isn't the Pokemon opening song. <laughs> And they show you, and you're like, this isn't the Pokemon. Yeah, it was literally that. And I was like, oh my god, I've gone like over two decades and I never knew this. Oh my gosh. So. I'm trying to think. Oh, it's for me, it's the Digimon opening. Or the Digimon song. Like, everyone thinks of Butterfly. And for me, I'm like, I still think of Digimon. Digital, Digital Monster. <laughs> That's the only one I know. <laughs> And so like everyone's like, oh, you like Digimon? You must like this song. I was like, I've never heard that before in my life. Dude, when I was younger, I used to get like burn CDs that my my dad would give me from like random songs off Napster or whatever. Like I didn't even know it was on okay. it. And I remember one of them I had. 
and maybe I asked for them. I don't know, but it had like literally some of the tracks were just like the the little um what's it like the the when they DNA digivolve they have their little song while they transform. It's like DNA oh. digivolve into and it's like digivolve. Digi-. I literally had like tracks for each of the digimon like a handful of no them way. that did that, and that was like my jam. It's so Still I think back then I used to rip from like gendo.com. I think it's like it's like a anime site. And so I always refresh and then whatever new song that I like, I'm like, oh, I really like this song. Then I'll go watch the anime. <laughs> Sounds about right, man. Just gotta get in some that was like me in AMVs, you know, you watch an AMV and you're like, I hope they listed all the animes this is because these ones look like something I'd wanna watch. <laughs> oh, is it all the emo <laughs> punk hey, rock one? Some of them, you know, one of them was like um, Tokyo Mew Mew. Like that's how. No, maybe that was after. It was like the villain dude, the one who had like green hair. Oh yeah, yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, I'm so. Bad it was this. way more spicy. Yeah. <laughs> Where, is that? Where were you all my life? Because I swear it's so hard. I feel like nobody ever watches all of these. No, that was back when I watched like all the shows. Like, what was it? Like, uh, Mermaid Melody. And then Mermaid I remember Melody. so many of those AMVs. Ikutara. Yeah. Do we all know we watched it for Ikuto? Ikuto. <laughs> but now you're like, this kind of a red flag with the age I kind guess. of thing. No, it's definitely a red flag. And also, he's a furry. Unless yeah. He's yo, yo, don't call us out like that, man. He wasn't a furry back then, I swear. Oh, my God. Wait, wait. Let's let's touch really briefly, because this is something I've been kind of thinking about for a while. Did you ever finish Beastar? Yeah, I did. I like Beastars. I actually okay. told, I told my friends to watch it, and then they called me a furry. And then they're in love with it. And I'm like, mm-hmm, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. I feel like I only finished the first season and I'm on the second season, but I'm still confused. I'm not sure if I actually like it or it's just to me weird. I think <laughs> it's just like, animation is weird, but I'm trying to understand the story because, you know, they keep going back from like, oh, high school romance to like really terrible ideas. And, yeah, like, yeah. You know, it gets dark. Social construct. I like the social construct aspect of it. So mm-hmm. that's why I like it. May not be for everyone, though. Yeah. And I can't get it out of my mind of the sexy bunny scene. I think I'm still stuck on the sexy <laughs> the bunny. Naked, the naked bunny? Like, you, do, do, the <laughs> bunny like this. It makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> do you look at bunnies in real life now and be like, put some clothes on, you no, slut? No, 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 no. No, not like that. <laughs> you look at white bunnies like, like you, know you why slutty we bunny. <laughs> why we did this in the first place i mean i think they're trying to like emulate the whole like um bunnies look innocent but they're really horny as fuck like because like that's how they are in real life they look super cute but man do they re- reproduce like crazy give it the chance i thought it had to do with the prey versus like predator thing and then they're using the eating part as like the sex part I mean, that's part of it too but that could have been any of the like prey you know why is it just the bunny girl yeah. I, I mean, know. I feel like they I, made a lot of choices, but who knows? It's weird to me. I can't get past it. I'm like, this is weird. And then they keep trying to eat her. And then <laughs> that makes me. You're uncomfortable. like, I'm not into war. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, Mm-mm. this makes me uncomfortable. So. And then, like, him trying to control his instinct the whole time. I'm like, this, this is it's weird. Just, it's just a horny teenage boy. Think about it. There's, like, literally every other yeah. show they do it in, too. But he's like a wolf, so now it's like, ah, oh, I want to eat her. Like, it's a lot of, like, metaphorical stuff, but I don't think yeah. it's too far off from, like, real life or how they, at least, like, actual, like, other shows, how they portray it, too. I wonder if it's because they're trying to talk about the construct of, like, I think it's also rich and poor, but then, you know, the class structure. Mm. Rich and poor, you know, ethnicity, all of that stuff. But it's hard to portray it via human, so that's why they're mm. doing it. In the animal kingdom, which no. I think is like well done, but I'm still very confused about things. I need somebody just to sit down and explain everything about B Star for me. <laughs> no, I I agree because I think they, it makes it more palatable, you know, for people. Because if you yeah. aren't seeing, especially if it's like something bad about you, <laughs> it's easier to see when they portray it as something else and then bring it around and make you realize that like that's actually you once you understand the concept of what's going on. 
confusing. I don't yeah. really. But that every single person who has told me it's one of their favorite anime, they still can't really explain <laughs> it in detail as to why. They're just like, it's just really good. And I'm like, okay, but give me the details. I need to understand. I feel like those are some of the reasons why. I feel like. I mean, okay, that is a furry anime, but you know what? The real, real I'm furry. Huh? I'm calling the police. <laughs> no, you know what the real furry anime is? Is what? um, Killing Bites. That one is the furry anime. I also, what? yeah, it's called Killing Bites. It's like these people who are like infused with like animal DNA essentially. And so they can like become like these animals or like take on attributes of the animals. Man, I actually learned some educational stuff for that. Like one I learned about like was it pangolins and they have very strong like uh shells or whatever and they they've been like poached in real life. Like I learned that. I also learned that um snakes have two uh ding dongs. <laughs> <laughs> there's this one <laughs> I think it's like a smut manga doujinshi whatever hentai for a girl's one that I saw recommended on my tiktok that's where I learned it. I was like this is this is wrong this is sick and wrong I need to send it to you <laughs> so you understand my suffering <laughs> wait 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 is it is it that BL one what there's a BL one? Yeah, I'm there's sure. a BL one. Actually, no. Actually, I don't know why I'm even surprised. There's a BL there's one. <laughs> it's because the dude is a snake. And when, okay, when that came up and they did it, I was like, wait, I already knew this because of Killing Bites. And I was like, wow, educational. Is this like, is this like a thing now? <laughs> is it educational or you've just been thrown into the world? <laughs> I don't know, man. Have you seen, like, like. Like Discovery Channel, and like Animal Planet and stuff. Like so many of them talk about how they reproduce, and some like some of them are so violent too. Like what is the one where they literally like stab? The duck. No, the duck is what? the one with like the maze, the maze the JJ, and they yeah. can like literally because that's what they try to bring up when people are like, oh yeah, you can just stop grape, and it's like, yeah, am I a duck? Do I have like a maze there to just like confuse <laughs> the other gender? <laughs> No, there was like, um, God, which one is it? Where they literally like have to try and stab the other one. And then that's how they like, oh, what is it? Is it snails? I don't think it's snails. I'm scared. Let me, let me look this up. Um, um, one second, one second. You've told me too many things about yourself today. Sussy. (laughs) Are you looking it up? Yeah, okay, okay. I think snails do it, but I think the one I was thinking of is uh, bed bugs. Ew. Yeah. The male bed bugs fertilize the female by stabbing a hole in her abdomen. <laughs> Does it get healed? No, I'm pretty sure they die after they... Well, I think after. I don't know, actually. Right? Or did the male just attach itself? Uh, Just uh, like the angler. Ang- anglefish? Angelfish? Angler or angelfish? Yeah, the one with the light on its head. I don't know if they like survive this or like die after. Okay, well I feel less bad also because fuck bed bugs. Like, what do you do for me? They're like mosquitoes. <laughs> How do you benefit anyone? I love how we, in the beginning, we talked about, (laughs) what is it? What did we even talk about? Shonen Protag, and then we're talking about (laughs) animal reproduction. How did we get here? (laughs) Don't question the process, okay? Don't question it. (laughs) I'm questioning the process. It's just just how things work. And now I'm like, are you a furry? I'm not a furry! (laughs) Dude. Do you want to see, do you know there's this this show, it's on Netflix called Lucifer, and they literally have, like, an episode where they go to a furry convention, and then you get to see <gasps> furries fight. Oh my god, I think I've seen that one. <laughs> that same episode, it's so weird. I never thought I would see that on mainstream, like, 
TV. I don't, I, I guess it, I think it aired on actual TV, but you know, like American TV, American television show. Like it was a straight on furry fight. And I was like, I don't, I have no words. This, this is what the world thinks of furries. Not even me. And they were talking about like, oh, she stole my OC. <gasps> That's why I murdered her or something. I, that isn't actually what happened. But like, they did say something about like, oh yeah, I was mad at her because she like, stole my OC and I was like I can't believe I'm hearing about this on television <laughs> hey at least they did the research love that yeah I, I gotta give it to them there <laughs> but I can't stop the part of me cringes <laughs> oh I guess that's true oh my god that's so dumb anyway so I hope moving forward people watch Chainsaw Man and they can understand the side of him that it's just like a pure person i guess an innocent he's really just like then just a weirdo he's a like horny weirdo. honestly he's just a kid he's like a kid like 10 years younger than he actually is I hmm? finally exploring what life has to offer mm. because he's only lived barely Dude, every time, poverty. every time I see him eating all the jam on all his bread, I'm just so happy. I'm like, you live your best life, man. You do you. I find it super cute that Aki is, like, basically a housewife, too. Dude, super cute. I like how they, like, dedicated a whole, like, handful of minutes just to him getting ready in the morning. I'm like, they did this yeah. for us. <laughs> I find it weird how he could spike his hair like that. Because his hair was so normal and then you see it and he looks like an onion yeah but isn't it just because he puts it in like a in a ponytail i don't think it's a ponytail it looked like it sticks straight up in the air no it looked like a ponytail like you know like those samurai like the then you know how guys have like man buns but if like you cut it short enough mm. it's like a man not i guess like the samurais back in the day but i don't think when they showed him with his hair down his hair was actually that long I to think... make it so it could wrap up like that. Because if it could wrap up, it wouldn't wrap up that high. Gravity. Well, I guess we're talking about anime, right? No, yeah. it's just I guess gravity. I'm pretty sure no, it's a ponytail. Even then, I'm pretty sure it's like, it's not. <laughs> I think it's just. I need to ask all the wig makers now, like for the cosplays. Like, how is this done? <laughs> yeah. Is it actually twisted up like that? Or is it just he ties it up and he uses intense super gel? Email is a got to be hairspray. Got to be for sure. That's a got to be advertisement. <laughs> oh my I God. like Aki a lot more now, but when he first like was mean to Denji, I got really overprotective, and I was like, "Oh, I hate this character." I, so I really knew cool. he was coming from somewhere. I still want to see like exactly what about him that is more of it, and like why he's so indebted to like Makima, and like what, like when he did the blush after she like like complimented him it was like oh i knew you could like take care of like i thought i was like no manipulative one has Wh fallen why like you seem so level-headed like what is it exactly that got you in so deep what what did she do for you what did you see everything everything she wanted him to see i don't know the other thing i want to find out is like their eyes like what is this yellow eyes with the red on it I, I haven't gotten that far. I feel like they'll explain it, but like I'm very curious because if Makima has it, I thought it was like a a devil thing. But like after I saw Makima had it, I'm like I don't know. But then what does that I mean, mean about her? Be. Yeah, that's all. Like that mm. she's more compassionate. Yeah, maybe, maybe, like maybe she's a fiend <laughs> or something. I don't know. I'm curious. I'm I actually out. don't even know. I don't think I. I don't know if I remember reading about it or anything. Oh, so. oh. man. Now I'm really curious then. <laughs> okay well anyways um uh, we hope you enjoyed this episode thank you for joining us today over, yeah talking about shonen pro tags um and i guess we'll see you again next week yeah 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 episode. let us know what you think a shonen pro tag is and who your favorite is and uh what do you think about ed from fma because we still can't figure it out exactly <laughs> all right see He's you good boy Next week, I am Iso. And I'm Kane. Bye-bye.